Good evening and welcome back to the action. You join us for the Ultimate Pool Grand Slam and this is the last 16 game. And what a mouth-watering match we have in store for you here. Michael Hill against Sean Chipperfield. Games do not come much bigger than this. When you look down through a draw, this is the kind of game that you're looking for. It gives me great pleasure to be joined on comms by John Rowe. Good evening, John. Good evening, Nick. How are you? Yeah. Fantastic, thanks. And, did you uh, watch the last game? I, I did. <laughs> I did watch the last game. But, I mean, every time I come on comms, it feels like after the Lord Mayor shared it show because earlier on it was just after Dom Cooney had cleared oh, in 31 wow. seconds, yeah. and now I'm just coming straight into that one. So, oh, unbe it's, um, unbelievable, isn't it? Unbelievable. <laughs> but, but this has on paper all of the uh, all of the making of, of uh, an epic match as well. Yeah. Uh, a race to eight between these two players. Uh, both have world titles between them, obviously. Uh, Sean the one and, and, and Mick six. Um, but Sean just seems to have found um, a different aspect to his game in the last couple of years. He yeah. seems to have gone up a notch. Yeah, um, so this this could really be... Uh, I think uh, he's put a bit more time game. into the game, hasn't he? Yeah. He's yeah. he sort of um, fluttered between a few other sort of disciplines. Yeah. Um, but he's definitely put more time into this game and uh, it's definitely shown that it's paid off. So is any, how many balls did he pop for break there? Because uh, <laughs> it seems like he's only played two shots and now he's going <laughs> to just about to be on the black. Blink and you miss it. Yeah, uh, it's like Sean plays like, doesn't he? He's, uh, yeah. Doesn't mess about when he's down on a shot. He's just, just under hit that shot though, so he's, yeah, he's going to be okay. A, yeah. Simple enough to drop it in the middle and he yeah. wins the first frame just, just like that. Looks easy, doesn't it? Like it that? really does. Yeah. It really does. A very impressive player is Sean Chipperfield. So he he beat uh, Chris last last round, didn't he? Yes, he did. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm sure he'll really appreciate being reminded of that. In fact, he's yeah. uh, he's just in front of us and gave us the thumbs up. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for mentioning it, John. Yeah, that's all right. So Sean, he's, make, he's making me hungry. So yeah, <laughs> Sean was ranked uh, number seven on uh, last year's tour. Yeah. Um, had a, had a pretty decent tour. A good showing. He made a a couple of semi-finals. He kind of ran into quite a few winners along the way. I think yeah. he ran into Declan when he won, ran into Shane Thompson a couple uh, of times yeah. when he... So they're on form. The yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but last season, um, he had a good result on the um, World Rules Pool Tour as well. So he, he managed to win one of those events. So yeah, he's definitely got more consistent with his, with his game, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, obviously. Famously, the uh, 2016 World Champion. He, he went into that World Championship as a qualifier and yeah. won nine matches in a row and uh, beat Carl Sutton in the final. It was a, a really good run for him and I think um, a, a bit of a whirlwind as well. I don't think people really expected him to come through as the winner, but... Um, it, yeah, I think the way he plays, though, he could just, he could just like, one of the players that could literally just be anybody, can't he? And that anybody could not have it, hardly have a chance. Yeah. You know, because it can go so quickly. And this man at the table needs... It's a good break. Yeah, solo in introduction. Control the white nice. A lot Look of all spread out. Yeah, reds uh, have yeah. to be the ball, don't they? Yeah. And it's uh, this is exactly what Mick would have been looking for when he came to the table. Uh, he, he needs to... Quick reply. Yeah, he needs, he needs that fast riposte just to be able to... You sort of want to keep Sean off the table a little bit because he's so quick. It yeah. feels like a bit of a steamroller yeah, effect, yeah. doesn't it? If yeah. he has opportunities, he can, and it doesn't help that he makes them look so easy. So you're sitting there and you think it could be quite a high clearance, but Sean is such a good potter, he can make it look quite an easy clearance and very quickly, and you just the frames can sort of uh, go by quite fast. Has he overdone that, or was he uh, just okay? Such a such an iconic player, isn't he? He's, he's been held, he's, he's held up there on that pedestal for so many years yeah, now. Nick, yeah. Of course, I mean six world titles, but also, um, you know, I think people often remember he also he also lost two finals as well. Yeah. So made eight finals in his career, which is is so impressive yes. in a in a, in an era when you know it's, it was. <laughs> there was uh, some yeah. great fields around so there. The rules were different there. I'm not sure if these rules maybe suit because he's so clever 
a player, I think, yeah. the shots he comes up with. And with these rules, it's quite attacking, aren't they? And so yeah. Yeah. he still plays clever shots, but the need for him, maybe, I just don't feel there's as much need for him as what they used to, they yeah. used to be. Uh, he's gone on record a number of times saying exactly that. that oh, right. You know, yeah. he, he likes clusters of balls. Oh, because he loves it, doesn't he? Then, yeah. then he can ply his trade. Yeah, that's right, yeah. I mean, I remember playing him once and he's played like... Um, he's played a ball to play a cannon to knock onto another ball to knock onto another it's like there's three balls involved in the cannon and it's played perfect so I'm, I'm sitting there thinking I've won the frame and then and two shots later I was like what's happened there you yeah, know? It's yeah. like, and in the meantime um, I mean there wasn't much to commentate on that to be no, honest it was, a, it, was again, a, yeah. it was a pretty uh, as soon as he got the two reds down the bottom out of the way yeah. he just wanted to clear at the top of the table right. and he, he's definitely a, he was Got about them quite quickly, didn't he? Yeah. Got through the, through the walls quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, showing that he can uh, put in a quick time as well. That is an impressive start from both players. One frame apiece, so on as even. Our referee is Trish Roberts. She's uh, well. Fantastic referee. Oh, she's brilliant. Yeah. She's, she's so. She used to be a snooker referee, I th yeah, think I'm right to say. And I think that shows, without a doubt, in the way she does everything. Yeah. Like, I know her quite well personally, and she's so professional about everything she does with this. It's a. Uh, I think, it's I a, think the one thing that you, you. The one compliment you can ever give to a referee is that you didn't notice them. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. You know, they, 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 they don't. They're not centre of attention, and, um, yeah. and you don't really notice that. Uh, tr that Trish is there but no. she does just such an effective job she's got you can see when you watch her a focus on the game is second to none to say it's a, it's good to know that you've got a ref that's paying so much attention to the game yeah you know, and I know that she um, when she's rack like obviously the, for the for the ref the racks are quite a big deal you know they want to make sure they're nice to the players and I know that's something that she works extra hard on to yeah. do and the players appreciate it because it, it helps the game you know opens the game up yeah so in the meantime Sean breaks off in frame number three he's he's gone dry you'll, you'll notice that probably unusually for Sean he's gone for the the cut break um, <laughs> I did have a chat with him just before the match started and he said that um, he, he really has been struggling with yeah. his front ball break he's not been timing it yeah. at all he's actually switched to the cut break um, uh, for the last three breaks that he played against Chris and he said if I hadn't I would have probably lost the match yep. because then suddenly I think he, he probably you know the, the, the break started working for him so he said I'm, I'm going to stick with it yeah. at the start of this match so I literally not, um, had the same conversation with him because I played him the round before Chris and we were both front ball breaking and it just it just wasn't happening you know we said uh, I don't know if the table was just not breaking particularly well but we both had pretty big breaks and they just the balls weren't splitting and I say that's what he said when he played Chris he, ch he played on the same table and he said he changed it halfway through yeah. and he said that won him the match um, and now a, another lovely opportunity here from, from Mick following that dry break it's I wasn't sure if Mick would have took the yellow down the route then and then come back on that ball but yeah just giving it a little nudge it's always handy to have a ball in the centre of the table yeah. to, to allow you to transition from yeah. one end to the next I think but the pot was probably slightly easy on it last shot that's all but um, I think he was trying to bump it a bit further down the rail to leave it possibly for last ball Yeah, for the um, black I think he's going to have to take the one that Oh, it's, it's does it, go, it goes in the opposite middle, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Yeah, it certainly does. Yeah, so he'll just roll this in. He would like to roll in the bottom right, then middle, then the right middle. Then he'd have the good angle on the one to the top left to get onto the one on the rail. Yeah. But I think he might be a bit high. So he might just try and... Uh, or is he looking to bounce back through that gap? That is a, that's a tight cannon, gap. Yeah, all cannon the red. On these shots off the cushion, you just get a little bit of delay on the top spin, so you want to, you really need to push through it, and yeah, that's why he's changed his mind now. Maybe he thinks he's going behind the red. He's got a tough shot down the rail. He's played that well, played that really well. Yeah, it's a, a, a good adjustment, and now um, should be fairly plain sailing. He's got a couple of stop shots to yeah. then play to, to get up to get the get straight, straight on the yellow to the bottom right corner, and then he can uh, play the, the other yellow into the bottom, bottom left and come up the left hand side of the table wow yeah, he had a little bit of angle on that didn't he it's, um, yeah 
he's tried to hold it, but he's just gone a little awry now and in a bit of trouble now. It's I think he's yeah, he's looking where he can rest that white. I don't know if he hits if he hits the red to the near the right middle, will he I don't think he'll be able to see the so he's got like a target then that he's aiming at to land in. He's gonna have to kill this. Oh, he's done it well. Oh yeah, that's great so control. And and it just shows the responsiveness of the cloth as well yeah. because you felt there was so much angle there. He was in a bit of trouble, but it, it just reacts he's, immediately. He's and put the ball nice and thin to get, yeah. get as much side on the ball and has come back with one cushion, two cushions. It's perfect on the black. That's a, a really nice clearance. I mean, it, he, he's had to reroute halfway through, yeah. but it just shows. And he, and he rerouted with a hard shot as well, didn't he? He played the, yeah. the yellow up the long rail. It was a hard shot. So, McHill wins that frame. We're going to watch how this match unfolds after the break. Welcome back to the action. Michael Hill breaking off in frame number four. He leads two frames to one. He's got that, that break of, that all important break of serve. Yeah. He's hit that well as well, hasn't he? Yeah, he's... He's got a ball in the middle. It didn't seem like a lot of balls went towards pockets there, but off the break, you one ball's all you need, isn't it? You know, one ball, nice split. Yeah. You get sometimes you can break dry for three breaks and then get four balls off a break, and it's just think, oh, I'd rather have one for four breaks. I mean, the reds look delightfully open here, don't they? I mean, you could probably... No, it's, it's just notice the, the yellow on the left-hand side cushion towards the bulk line is a, a problem so definitely going to be reds yeah I'm just trying to think about how he broke there I didn't know if he's like was putting slight bit of side on the break even because like, of the angle he went into so yeah. it kicked the ball into the top ball more but he, he hit it really nice and clean and I say he's got the rewards hasn't he it's I think each time each tournament's gone by mix just kind of looked like he's wanted to win a little bit more each time I think I said last time yeah. when I contacted he just looked like he had a bit between his teeth do you know he it, and it, it feels and I've never kind of quizzed him on this but it feels like he just fell out of love with the game just slightly and uh, and now he just seems to have found a, a hunger for it again yeah. uh, I guess you know he's probably watched Gaz win an event last year and he's yeah. it's probably just he's thinking actually you know I want some of this as well and yeah. um, and you know who'd be surprised to see him to see him win this event but the thing yeah. is he's not alone is he there's so many players watching the ultimate pool what they're doing have, have sort of fell back in love with so many more players wanting to play and yeah. I know I know so many people who now watch it all the time you know people that I know used to play pool years ago they, they watch it they love it you know, and so as well as, and if you think you want, you're one of the best players in the world, you'd be silly not to fall back in love with it, even, wouldn't you? But yeah. and it's just naturally grabbing people to want to play it, and uh, so Mix knows he's he's got a massive opportunity with these uh, tournaments. So uh, it's probably but, say making him get the bit between his teeth a little oh bit. Oh yeah, and I think he wants to prove prove that point as well. I'm still yeah. I'm still there, chat. I'm still top of the game. Yeah. I'm, I might have been around for a, a good few years, yeah. but I'm still right there. And say so a few um, of the. Uh, the other boys have come back into it, haven't they? Yeah. So, like you said, with Chris and Gaz, you know, it's like the old school boys, isn't it? You know, they um. I can see that that steely determination on his on his face, and he's almost got a a new spring in his step. Yeah. Yeah. And even with like Carl Morris yesterday, you know, he's he's back into it, isn't he? And it's it is a bit like it used to be years ago, you know. Carl's you know, playing the way he plays, you know, and uh, th I said to Mick yesterday, you know, he's played him for so long, he knows all the little things that, uh, how Carl is, so yeah. uh, it makes him a character of the game, doesn't it? Delightful stuff from Mick Hill. You know, it's easy so far, this is, isn't it? Uh, yeah, no, yeah, it really is. I mean, uh, th th there's really not much to call on it's the table. Much, I think at the minute it's been perfect, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah fantastic. So, yeah, break and clearance from from both players and then that dry break and a, and a reverse clearance and now another break clearance from Mick so it's it's been pretty flawless so far and the only the only thing that, that Sean's done is, is a dry break and he yeah. finds himself I think two game, frames behind when the games are like this they, they can go either way quite easily can't they yeah you know and you know the, when you hear the amount of times you hear people saying oh well I didn't get a shot for four five frames it's it's not becoming uncommon, is it, that it's happening? But the problem is now, this is a, a huge break for 
for Sean. You know, I mean, he has to make a ball, has to make a clearance to stay on mixed coattails. Otherwise, yeah. you know, four one and he, it's a it's a big deficit. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So he'll want something good here. The cut break worked first up. It didn't work in the second frame. We'll see. Yet to see if he goes with it again. I think he probably yeah. will. I think on the TV table, I think the front break just seems to work better. Yeah. You know, I see a lot of people do the front break. Just when I see the cut break, it doesn't always tend to. But When we talk about the, the cut break, we're talking about the um, the second ball down. So he's now targeting the yellow, which is the second ball. Traditional break would be the front ball. but uh, And that yellow that goes in the middle, when you play the cut break well, that's you can get it consistent. You can nearly guarantee that ball. You know, time after time, when when you're timing it right. Yeah, he timed that really well. Yeah. And so let's have a look at this this split. Just a couple of clusters here. What's your, what's your preference, John? It depends. That yellow next to the black, does it go? If that goes, it's yellow. Yeah, it does. Dig, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But he has. I don't know what sort of angle he's got on it. But. And he's got that the yellow, two, two that, reds. that yellow in the triangle between yeah. the, the kind of there triangle. Is a, there is a red there that he can use to, to develop the the yellow and black as well. I think it's one of them where you kind of maybe forced to go for it. Yeah. And you're gonna have to play a shot that's uh, gonna be a bit risky. But the yellow goes to the do you think goes to the top left, past the black. It's very tight. Isn't it? It if, is it, tight. if it does, and he hasn't do got to move any balls, yeah. which he'd rather not have to do. Yeah, I think that maybe just goes. Yeah, because he could, could leave that to possibly play it fairly early. I think we, or if he gets we, a right angle, he leave it to the last. We probably find out now if it doesn't go, wouldn't we? Because he's got an angle to go up and nudge it. Yeah, but he, the yellow. Oh, that's there we near, go. We can see there. Perfect. Yeah, uh, this, perfect okay, that's yellow here. Is the one he's got. He's got to be attacking. So he's. I think he's probably looking to leave that yellow next to the black to last, but leave a nice angle so he could just run through, have the black in the right centre. So this is quite an important positional shot. Is he going to screw, try to screw back off the cushion through the two reds? He tried to. He just caught that red. But it's not too bad. He could... He's still got a shot, hasn't yeah, he? he? Twice across the twice table. Twice across. He wants to be just past the line of... The, and the centre of the table and leave himself the long shot and Sean's so good at potting he's he'll probably make the pot look easy but it's just a, he's had a nice nudge there wow L little kiss but it's uh, not is it overrun? do you know I think he can still just get to the potting angle but it's a it's a horrible pot isn't it when you watch him play them shots he seems to like it's like he's like lackadaisical in a way isn't it but it's just the way he plays because yeah. he's just so relaxed and then just gets down and puts puts them in it's a tough shot, this is. Wow, that yeah, really yeah, is right. a great shot. That's high tariff. Yeah. That's what I mean. He just like gets up like it's no sort of big deal, you know? Does this pass? I, I assume to it the passes top, to top the top. Left, and and top it's also right. a pretty big pocket up there as well with the, the red guarding one side. It, yeah. it, it's a guide, isn't it? So you can yeah. hit, hit cushion and still make the, make the ball. That's in. Yeah, didn't sure. didn't need the big pocket. Yeah. That's that's a that's a great clearance for sure. With, on that shot with the big pocket, you kind of have to play to miss it, which you don't really want to do. You know, it's. Yeah. I know you can afford to hit it too thick, but you know, for that red to be involved, you're thinking you got to, you've really got to play to miss it. But he just played the cannon off it anyway, just to just to um, copy what you said. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you <laughs> used your commentary well. <laughs> great stuff. Yeah, it keeps, uh, keeps on going, doesn't it? Yeah, so it is, you know, Sean relying on something from Mick, a mistake, a, a dry break or something. Mick still with the advantage of that break of serve. Yeah, but it's good that Sean just kept the pressure on him, isn't it? It's, uh, Michael Hill has, we already mentioned, six world titles, 2004, 2010, 
2015, Thank 17, 18, and 19. Back to back for those three years. You think about them big tournaments, but there's all the other little tournaments in yeah. between them years. The, he, oh, he could yeah. be doing going to like nearly 20 tournaments a year, like smaller yeah. events where there's still top players in. Yeah, and he could he's probably winning a good percentage of them as well. Yeah, you yeah. know, like if you think of Phil Harrison, I know he's you know going to multiple tour, tours where the standards as high as as a tour of you know a tour event or a series event. And they're still winning them, you know, and we don't class, you know, we obviously we don't have them in stats, but, you know, that uh, just shows the class of the players. So this one, not quite gone mixed way. Oh, so sa safety shot. Yeah, he's going to have to play a little containing shot just to sit here? the cue ball on top of the yellow just to leave it hampered. And... Um, it's quite well, a clever shot, really, isn't it? He's like... Well, he, the thing is, he, he didn't knows... didn't want to take Sean, too long thinking about a shot. <laughs> yeah, uh, he knows Sean will probably take the bait as well because <laughs> Sean's such an attacking player that if there is a shot there, I don't think there is anything, though, is yeah. there? I'm looking at that yellow in the middle of the table, but trying to cut that in Chinese and the white brush oh, possibly get tracking towards the, the top left if he doesn't kick the cannon. He might play a similar shot to what Mick just played. I don't know if he yeah. could flick off it and come off the side cushion and back towards to put it back where it is now. He's just such an attacking, oh, such yeah. an attacking I'm player. Not He's seen something. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, <laughs> just... well, that's turned out all right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't know if he could play off the opposite side cushion and just bounce right back to where it was and sort of leave Mick in the same position. Mick will always tell you what he thinks by the look on his face and he's got yeah. a little wry yeah. smile there that could have gone he, so wrong for Sean. Yeah, Sean did. He's had a bit of a rub there, really, because he took a, he took a bit of a risk, didn't he? There's a lot of outcomes could have come from that. Yeah. Pottenham being one of them as well, obviously. Yeah. And I think that's what Sean was uh, sort of playing on. Can he cut? Oh, he can just can nip cut that in. Yeah, that's not bad. Then. Well, right, now look at the yellows. Yeah, great chance now. So, it's just about the... The order, obviously, he's got these three balls on the right-hand side. There's one kind of stray ball up near the, the bulk line. We see a rogues gallery there, don't yeah. we? Eh? <laughs> Chris Melling. A few ruffians there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chris Day. I think Carl Sutton was Carl? there as well. Yeah. I think he'd, he'd probably like to... He's got the yellow, the middle of the three yellows on the right-hand side that he could use to drop on. No, that's just played, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think he has to take the one to the right fairly early, doesn't he? Yeah. He, can't, he can't leave it until late well, he, in the break. I wonder if he could have left this ball till last, because if he took the one in the middle, then went to the top, second and third from last ball, yeah. he could have then just dropped this one in the, the bottom right corner and been on the black. I, I, think, um, I think he black's needs... Black's accessible from quite a few places. So. Yeah, he needs to get the one nearest to the bulk line, probably as his next shot. I think because... if he could be anywhere, he'd want to be where that red is, yeah. above the black. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Seen it a different way. Yeah, no, he's just. I think he's just under hit that, hasn't he? Yeah, you see his yeah. cue in there. He's just not quite got into it. Just decelerated yeah. slightly. Maybe he's worried about overdoing on this table. It's so reactive. Oh, you want sometimes you don't want to overdo the shot. Now that this really does does become tricky because he's still got that that lone yeah. ball on the right hand side, and nothing really connects with it. He can't. He could leave it until his last ball, but he'd have yeah, to land perfectly have to on perfect it. Perfect, yeah. Uh, I don't know if he's got enough to screw over. If he could nip into the white and screw across, because then he could, if he's got an angle, he could just cannon into the red next to it, and he'd yeah. leave the long yellow into the bottom the long left. Yellow, yeah, yeah. But he's got a big angle here. Yeah, but on, he can if he gets into this white, but I do think he can get enough. Oh, he's just rolled it. Oh, he's rolled through the gap. Nice. That really is lovely. Yeah. Finding the gap. And the perfect angle just to, to, to punch this in, and as you, as you say, just come across as yeah, stunning to the red to the left of the yellow. Shot, yeah, you look, I think you you don't think about the red; you just play it as a hard stun shot, yeah. and the red's just going to get in the way, yeah. and it's going to keep you on the, keep you on the uh, yeah. yellow. He can play this with confidence, play it at a good pace. Fully expect him to make that pop. Yeah. Lovely. Looks quite relaxed, doesn't he? He really does. He looks like a very determined kill. 
and uh, so far it doesn't look like making mistakes no definitely good good clearance yeah. exemplary pull and it was, so it was far. just that first shot he played didn't he? he just played a little sort of containing shot and like you said he just gave the bait to Sean and and, and Sean took it, didn't he? And he went for a shot that was... Uh, so McHill is uh, playing the great pool at the moment. He leads four frames to two. Welcome back to the Ultimate Pool Grand Slam. This last 16 match between Mick Hill and Sean Chipperfield. Sean, the pressure firmly on him again. Going back to the front break. No, it's really gone back yeah. to the front ball break, which is a bit, a bit of a strange one because the, the, the cut break worked for him last time. Yeah, I, I, I just believe on this table the front break just works better. Yeah. And, well, f instantly that's... Yeah, the, the, the proof far, of the pudding's right yeah. there, isn't it? Yeah. He's hit, he has hit him well as well, which obviously helps. And so we're looking for yellows? Yeah, it's got quite a nice layout here as well. Yeah, it's, it, it, they, they, they connect pretty well, don't they? Yeah, so they he's, nice. he can take this one to the left centre and then use the... Sorry, to the one to right centre as we look at the table. And they use the one to left centre to come down the table and then, and then kind of work his way back yeah, up. The yellow... The two yellows to the right... It's, uh, so the yellow doesn't... Near the black... I don't think it passes into the middle, the uh, left middle. So... It, it's wherever he wants to come near the black spot to try and pot it into the right middle. Yeah. But then the red on the right-hand rail is wherever that goes in the middle as well. Because if they both go in the middle, he could uh, possibly play. But the one near the cushion looks a bit narrow for the middle. So it might be a case of sort of switching shots. Is he too, he's too he's straight here, right isn't he? That, is he? Yeah, he went noticeably went back to his break queue as well, didn't he? Yeah. I think if he run, runs this through, he could leave himself a long shot, but he could pop the one down the rail and top off the cushion and back towards the red. I don't know what sort of angle he's got on this. I always tried to get closer to it. Ooh. Oh, he's got he's had a quite a big bounce off that cushion that looked. That really punched off that it, cushion, didn't it? It was a strange it came yeah. off at a strange angle yeah. as well. Because he had side on it as well. You'd yeah. think it might slow it down, but just obviously had enough momentum at the right time to have a big bounce. Needs a great shot here and yeah. needs a bit of fortune that too. That was a shot I was thinking oh. he could have played inside the yellow, yeah. but he obviously had too much angle on that shot. And that's come out lovely, that has. Yeah, he can play this. A, you can see him loading it up with side to yeah. bring the cue ball back through the gap. It was a bit of a gamble the way he played the shot, but he played it nicely. And uh, two shots later, he's uh, getting on the lack. He rolled the dice there and uh, yeah. that one's definitely come out in his favour. So, staying on, importantly, okay. staying on mix on mixed coattails. He yeah. has to stay with him. Yeah. Just that one frame behind. Bit of a wry smile on his face there, but... Yeah, he would have been wanting to hit the black full ball there. Yeah. And he's just, only just clipped the black, but it's just turned out, it's turned out lovely for him there. It was a lovely finish. As I say, importantly, keeping the pressure firmly on. That's where he, um, he he kind of, off the ball in the middle, he's, he's run out of position, but he just sort of made it look so easy still, didn't he, for the last yeah. three balls, you know? And if you, maybe if you have the shot clock was a bit longer, you'd take a little bit longer to think, oh, how am I going to get on that ball? But he just, he got down and played them quite, quite simply and, and uh, cleared it very nicely. And the way the game's gone so far, the momentum of the game, you, you would think there'd be a result here. That, you know, we're probably not going to end up going to... Yeah, uh, or, or risking a six red shootout. I'm nah. pretty sure this is going to go to the eight frames. That's a shame, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it is a bit. <laughs> I always look forward to those. <laughs> oh, there. Wow. There's just so many kills, and they just keep something just keeps getting thrown up. Like I say today with Dom and then Steve Dempsey, it's just like you can't, you think something can't happen, but then it's happened. Like Gaz Potts done that clearance yeah. the other week. Yeah. Dom's done one today. Yeah. And you just think... Th this competition really does just keep throwing, a year throwing ago, up amazing moments. Yeah. A year ago, you'd not think this was possible, would you? Yeah. You would yeah. think it's so far from possible, and yeah. now it's happening. Really traumatic moments, yeah. too. Fantastic. That was such a great conclusion to that last match. Anyway, Mick Hill breaks in frame number eight. Another important one for him. 
he needs to keep that that air between him and Sean. Oh my goodness! He, he did hit a good break in that the yellow to the, yellow to the middle just hit the knuckle. Yeah, and and then and then a, a, a ball hit the rattled in the top corner as well, didn't yeah. it? I think we we'll see now. Yeah, yeah, it hit both knuckles that yellow and the, the red to the middle as well. And just look at this layout. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. He's just going to go down the table, clear up the top, and then. This is exactly the opportunity that Sean Chipperfield yeah. needed, and uh, he should. If he gets rid of that red near the. Oh wow, he's absolutely perfect. Yeah. yeah. He should be should be drawing level here. I'm gonna I'm gonna well, call it, John. The only really thing you got to <laughs> worry about is what how long it's going to take him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, I, I have. Uh, I've, I cursed Aaron Davis earlier really badly, so I, I still have um, an uh, apology for that one, but I don't think, uh, I just don't see Sean missing this. The only thing I can think to make it exciting is that he's going to clear up by 23 minutes and <laughs> 25 seconds. Yeah, maybe there you go. something like that. <laughs> there you go. That's the only challenge I can put to him because <laughs> I don't think he's uh, not going to do it otherwise. Come on, Sean, hurry up. <laughs> Yes, he has landed a little bit short on that, though, hasn't he? Maybe just a, yeah. did he have a touch I've, of a kick then, yeah, do you think? I, I think he did, yeah. The ball just seemed to die pretty quickly, and I think he through. looks pretty disappointed. And it is on the, that pace of shot that you tend to get a kick if you're going to have yeah. one. But I think if you just don't get the perfect reaction, do you? It doesn't... Um, because the table runs so fast, you just don't... It doesn't have to be a kick necessarily, just a bit of a dead contact. Yeah, and it yeah. just makes such a difference to the shot. Yeah. So it just meant he it, it complicated the finish slightly, yeah. and, and and you're about twelve seconds out, John. But I was just going to say <laughs> a kick's cost me there. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a kick's cost my commentating there. And and a, and a dry break has has cost uh, Mick Hill. It's uh, honours even now, four yeah. frames apiece. There's literally been there's been nothing in his matches at all. It's, it's been, been such a fantastic yeah. standard of pool so far. Yeah. Mix is sitting there thinking, this didn't happen to me 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. People weren't doing this to me no, then. No. <laughs> well, I think he's learning quite a lot with, with these rules, isn't he? And the players he's playing, he's learning that, you know, this does happen. And yeah. So, John, I I interesting question. So, um, we're halfway, well, they're, they're both halfway to the finish line. Who do you think is going to be happier at the moment? I think Sean will, yeah. personally. I think yeah. Sean will, yeah. I think, I think he has to be, doesn't he? Yeah. I mean, he's the only one who's really done something wrong, you yeah. know. Mix broke dry, Mick, and in the, the frame, that frame where Mick sort of played a containing shot, hasn't he? First shot, Sean, like you say, he took the bait, tried a shot, didn't work out, Mick cleared up. Um, but it's, it's probably just going to come down to that, that dry break that Sean's had the chance from. I mean, look at this layout. Yeah. If he can get through to the yellow. And now Sean's gone back to his front break with yeah. his breaking cue. They're just breaking better. You know, and he's getting a good chance. I think when matches like this, it is down to chances. Can, he, can he get to this, this yellow, in the, the middle yeah. one in the in the line of three, if he can? If he can, yeah. This should be a formality. Extended yeah. Call. God, it's going to be a very easy clearance if he can, isn't it? Yeah. He certainly could. So I guess the only question in his mind is is now where he wants to put the eight ball. Uh, would, you, would you leave the ball middle. at the yeah left left, left middle? middle yeah. He, can, he can land or left or bottom left. Yeah. If he lands on the right hand cushion for that last yellow, he can just screw back. Yeah. If he screws back six inches, he's got it in the bottom left. Screws back a foot. Oh, he's going early. Yeah. So I, this is this is a hard shot for position, though, isn't it? It did. It did seem trickier. It seemed yeah. Trickier, yeah. But I mean, you, you think that this is the only shot that. But he's got the same problem there. he had before, hasn't he? Yeah. With this yeah. shot, was I just think he, he he wanted to be below the eight ball rather than above it for you know. So yeah. he, he took that ball early to make sure that he's below the eight ball. Yeah. It was this. Yeah. You know, I think is about to play he was the, he wouldn't have wanted to get onto the ball over the pocket off of it yeah so that's why he got rid of it so now he can so he can just drop it in and he's got the black to top, top right so that dry break costing Mick not one yeah. frame but two yeah 
I think that was interesting that clearance he's Sean's just done it literally changed from the first shot he played if he had a better angle after the first shot he would have rooted that, that yellow over the top top right would have been the ball but because he just landed a bit short didn't have the angle he's had to change his mind and uh, obviously like I said earlier he still makes it look quite easy yeah um because that shot to the top right, controlling the white ball wasn't easy because he's bouncing off the cushion as well. Um, it's easy to lose the white on that shot. But he's happy to leave himself distance. So and you probably see a mix just sitting there thinking, what have I done wrong? Yeah. So Mick finished ranked number 10 in last in, in the last season. Yeah. Um, he made a, a semi-final in which he lost to Shane Thompson and then Obviously, runner-up in event six also lost to Shane Thompson in that one as well. But I mean, Shane was um, Shane was a, a bit of a juggernaut last year, so so no shame in that. But um, Mick would definitely be looking to go one better this year and, and lift the trophy. Yeah, he wants one, doesn't he? Yeah, he's a, he's a born he's a born winner. Yeah, he doesn't like seeing his um, his other old compatriots uh, lifting the trophies. Is he? Exactly, he's not yeah, having one yeah, of them. Yeah. Great to see the uh, the pro section bolstered this year from 34 players going up to 48 and, yeah. uh, and moving forward into next year. Looks like they're probably targeting 80 players. So, yes, yeah, and of course the, the the tour starts in just two weeks. Yeah, so this is a grand slam, a single standalone event. But the tour itself starts in anger in a couple of weeks in Blackpool. Yeah. Really looking forward to that. I yeah. think it's going to be. A, we're looking forward to see what they do because obviously we're going to be changing venue. Yeah. And there's going to be a different format for the tables and the uh, layout. Yeah. So yeah. I think it'll be better for everybody, yeah. including the pros as well. Um, so I'm really looking forward to how it works. Everything the Ottawa Pool have done has been brilliant. So I can only see it going that extra step, step still when we move to a hotel. So uh, yeah, so really looking forward to it. Again. Just the, I just wondered if the, the red next to the eight ball was a bit tricky, but actually I think it, it passes into the... Oh, it's on that one, that's a nice shot. Yeah, it passes into the top corner, probably goes bottom bottom right as well. I think he's right here. Yeah. I think it just depends where he wants to play the red next to the black. I think he might want to play it to the... I wonder if he can run the, the ball through to the top left and then play the, the red above the black to bottom right. And then um, leave that red near the yellows, maybe to second off it or last ball. Yeah. No, he played it off it. Oh, maybe it didn't go then. He, he was perhaps worried about getting the white ball out without hitting the yellow. There's always you always take a little bit of a risk when you're playing a ball off a ball. I wasn't sure if he could have potted that and got the white back out without yeah. hitting the yellow. Yeah. Maybe he felt he couldn't do that. But actually, he's, he's landed pretty well here. He's um, he, he can pot this. And then come back. It needs to just find an angle. Yeah. Probably about where he is now would 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 be. What I think he's, he's gone across for for these. Yeah, he. What I think for me, I'd want to be straight on that the further closest red to the pocket. So he just literally screw straight back and then play the red in the same pocket again. Yeah. Because if or I don't know if he thinks he can go behind the behind the red, but just bring the yellow into play a little bit. You could Chinese yourself. This is, I didn't. I've been looking at this frame, thinking the 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 ball nearest the rail doesn't pass, but maybe it does. Yeah, well, if it does, that definitely helps. That, that really does help. I think he's looked at it a couple times now, and and that would indicate that. Don't even say if it's close. Maybe don't go for it. Yeah. Because he's got us guaranteed. The the positional shot is on him, isn't it? Whereas if it's close, it's um he's taking a bit of risk. But it, it clearly doesn't. Back. He's got a he's got yeah, a nice angle just to screw back. Yeah, okay. Nothing to do with the cue ball. Should be a formality. And very shortly, you're going to see parity again between nice. these two players. I don't think they're going to get to eight because they just keep. They're going to be. There's going to be so many frames involved, isn't yeah, there? Yeah. I, I, I made the call and said right. that I thought we were going to get an eight, but actually, we're saying we're halfway through. We've had ten frames. Yeah. So yeah, we're just over halfway. That's very good. Yeah. Eight, Eighteen minutes. So. Uh, yeah. Nothing between the players. Is that the trophy there on the side? It is, yeah. Yeah. 
lovely looking trophy as well. Yeah, I mean, it, nice. I always wonder about trophies. There's, there's only so many different types of yeah, trophy you can get, right. but, but they, they keep coming up with um, innovative ideas for the trophies. This one looks another another great one. I'm sure whoever lifts this trophy will be over the moon, go, especially yeah. picking up the check. Yeah. Fourteen thousand pounds to the winner, John. I mean, what if you get fourteen grand inside? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is it, is in pound bit, coins now. Yeah. It's, all right. it's, a, it's a big old trophy, though. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I was looking at it earlier, actually. It's a nice. Yeah, the money is obviously nice, but you know, it's not just maybe not so much the trophy, but the title they want, don't they? Yeah. 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 Sure, Mick's got enough trophies at home. <laughs> yeah, he's got a, a big old trophy cabinet. So, Sean. Thank you, frame 11. Sean Jimson. The spotlight to turns to him. His break again. Front ball. He's, he's going to the same cue. place as Mick, isn't he? I wonder if um, that yellow one in the middle, I was going to try and, I was going to call that before. Um, but he's just, I, may, I think he maybe, maybe saw what Mick was doing with the break. And he's breaking from a very similar place. And that's another great break, isn't it? Excuse me. You can go out there if you like. Thank you. Uh, nice work, Trish. <laughs> Probably just picked up Controlling Trish. Yeah. She's like a school teacher, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, she keeps control of them all, yeah. Telling them off. <laughs> Probably just a, a little noise in the arena. Just probably... Don't upset Trish. No. <laughs> Feel the wrath. <laughs> Again, a, a really nice layout here. And where that red sat, he can play the plant on. Well, yeah, it's just lovely, yeah. isn't it? It's so play this one to, to bottom left that he's going for now. And then he's got he's got a plant to middle, which opens up the line for. Well, actually, it's actually quite hard to commentate these sort of clearances because there is so many different yeah, ways of going yeah, about them. absolutely. And then you think they could go so many ways and still clear up. And you're like, wow. I was just wondering if the, the red to the left of the eight ball actually passes the bottom right. I think what you said but before... He's going to have plant, to nudge it now, isn't yeah, he? I think the shot you said before was the plant was the right shot. Yeah, yeah. I think he's still going to play it. But The red goes to the bottom right corner. No, I don't think it does no. and I think that's the point. He just nudge it on now, will he? Oh, no, he's going back. No, but he, he's going to leave a little... bit on the cushion. This is awkward now. Yeah. He's got to get the nudge perfect so he can stay on the ball. And it's always makes a cannon a lot harder when you have to stay on the ball that you're cannoning. Yeah. I don't know if he's hitting it too thick. Jordan Shepherd. Chris is getting his own commentary there from yeah, Jordan. Yeah, Jordan <laughs> on the right. He's um, having another good weekend. Yeah, that's, a, that's all right. He controlled that, that really well. So now he can... Just want to come behind the black. Yeah, just 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 a little soft screw shot around yeah, the eight ball. You want a lot of side on it so that it doesn't have to put so much screw. Yeah. So when it hits a cushion, it fly, flicks away from the eight ball. He just wants to make sure he gets into the white ball. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Look. There's a little bit of screw then the side just took it away from the eight. He's queuing the he's queuing the ball really well, isn't he? Yeah, nice. Yeah. I mean, they both are, but Sean just just looks like he's flowing really well at the moment. Not a care in the world. And uh, why would you have a care in the world when um, you're playing this well? So, Sean Chipper filled with this eight ball to right centre pocket. And he retakes the lead at six frames to five. This game's getting exciting. We'll find out how it goes after the break. Things are starting to heat up here in Players Pool and Snooker Lounge in Newcastle under Lyme. It's six frames to five in the last 16 of the Ultimate Pool Grand Slam. Oh, it's dry again. Mick Hill breaks dry and uh, gives Sean another sight of the table. And actually, again, I think these reds look really good. I don't think there's any problem balls. Yeah. Mick, I mean, Mick uses his uh, playing cue to break with, doesn't he? And yeah. uh, I mean, I know it's preference for people. Personally, I don't like breaking with the cue that I play with just because because of the tip makes it so hard. Yeah, I feel, and I don't like the harder tip. But um, I say, obviously, it is preference, and uh, 
but obviously with a brake shoe you get a bit more weight in the queue and you can hit the white slightly different. Um, but you know, Mick's had two dry ones now. When he started off braking really well, and Sean started braking better since he, uh, I wouldn't say copied Mick's brake, but he um, went from the cut brake to braking from somewhere very similar to Mick, and um, Sean's really reaped the benefits from it. And he's got another good chance here. The thing is, I mean, it, this is this is a double uh, double elimination competition. So we've played to double elimination to the top sixteen, which which basically means that if you get knocked out, you get a second life. You yeah. go in a, a kind of second part of the tournament where you have to yeah. work your way back into yeah. the into the winners round until they they converge in this format. They converge at sixteen, yeah. but it makes it just such a harsh way for somebody who's come through the winner's section to lose. Obviously, Mick's come through yeah. the winner's section. Sean's come through the loser's section. He yeah. lost the game yesterday against Chris Day 7-5. Yeah. And, and, and Mick, he's done nothing wrong so far. And then the first time he loses, he yeah. doesn't get his life he back. He could literally play perfect yeah. and be out of the tournament. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it can be really yeah. harsh for the people that, that come through the winner's side and then lose. Whereas, I mean, Sean's lost the game in the tournament. Here, yeah. here he is. That's um, right. You know, yeah. he's... With a, with a big advantage in this in this match now, and uh, just I think I, the balls were so nice. And Sean lost the white a few shots ago, and he's just because the balls were sitting so nice, he had another option yeah, off of it. And yeah, uh, yeah, it's, it's but it's, even it's now he's not right. ideal, is he? He's, he's no, okay. He's, he's, he needs to be off the cushion. Yeah, yeah, he's okay. He can shoot. Does a, a black does pass yes. to the bottom left? Doesn't yeah, it he? does. Yeah, for sure. If he can get the white ball at least back to where it is, yeah, yeah. that's a. Uh, Ideally, slightly lower, so he's not hampered. Yeah, that's doesn't want to be Chinese. That's okay. Or, yeah. Awkward queuing. So he can just queue by the side of the ball, correct. can he? Yeah, he's okay. I think. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, hampered. <laughs> hampered. That's the word. Yeah. Right. yeah sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Delightful. I do get told off for saying. Uh, <laughs> so Sean Chipperfield now on the hill against Mick Hill, seven frames to five. And uh, he's breaking in the next frame as well. And, and, and that really is uh, a, a key at the moment. The fact that um, even if Mick gets another chance, Sean's still got two breaks. Yeah. You know, there's, there's three possible More frames breaking, to be played yeah. and Sean's going to be breaking two of them. So, yeah. you know, it, it, the, the power is very much in Sean's hands now. It's such a... When Mick's sitting there, he's, it is a hard position to be in. You're thinking, what am I doing wrong? It's a, it's yeah. a horrible, it's a yeah. horrible game at times. I mean, yeah. what has Mick Hill done wrong in this in this yeah. match to yeah. find himself at seven frames to five behind? Yeah, what's he done wrong? He's actually played better than Sean, possibly. Yeah, yeah, he's just not had the chances. Has, yeah. And yeah. But the, Sean's definitely had the better chances, and the, it just shows how how big the break is in the game, doesn't it? It's uh, just some dry breaks, and Sean's yeah. uh, found his break. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, really the difference between the two players is, I mean, sh I think uh, Sean's had one dry break, Mick's had, yeah. Mick's had two, I think, yeah. possibly three. The, the only thing I would say is Sean changed his break yeah. when it wasn't working yes. and Mick hasn't changed it. Yeah. I know, I know yeah. Mick's probably, I don't know how many times, how many times he's broke dry, two? Definitely two, I can't remember if there was a third yeah, so, yeah. so maybe he might change it next time. Yeah. You know, how many times do you leave it till you change it? If there's a next time. Yeah, yeah the if question. there's a next time, yeah, that's right. And, but Sean changed his after three attempts and uh, and it's worked for him massively. Like he said in his last match against Chris, he went from the front ball break to the cut break, yeah. changed it halfway through, yeah. winning a match. Yeah. And this could do the same thing in this match. It's great to see the players being able to adapt. Some players leave it too late to be able to change yeah, it. He, he's, right. he's obviously changed just at the right time against Chris. He's changed at the right time against... I think you can get stubborn because you know that when your break's working, it can work. Yeah. And you want to get it to work. And sometimes you can want it to too much. And another oh, really well-timed break. But actually, this is, this is the chance. Yeah, that, all that talking and he's... I know. <laughs> But he timed it really well. It just yeah, shows how much luck, how much luck plays a part, and you can see that that look on his face. It's just typical, isn't it? There's yeah. always a twist in the tail, John. Yeah, always is, a twist yeah. in the tail. And you wonder what that is because of like, is does he feel it slightly more in the brain, just as something very slightly different in the in yeah. the action? Maybe. Yeah, but, possibly. You know, possibly. Because there's a bit more tension in when you need one frame, isn't it? You think this is your chance to win. Exactly. Do you yeah, just do yeah, something very yeah. slightly different yeah. in the cue action that makes it a. Uh, yeah. Makes it alter, but it, it's very rarely straightforward, isn't no. it? There's, I mean, one thing I would say Mick deserves this opportunity. Oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. because he has 
been the end of a couple of bad dry breaks and uh, this is sort of his his turn isn't it <laughs> yeah and and you know honestly i wouldn't be at all surprised if the next time sean comes to the table would be to break off at seven each yeah i, I could i can really see that happening now are you, are you calling that yeah <laughs> are you committing <laughs> go on then go on then. <laughs> you're, you're in you're in <laughs> yeah you're in it's good i mean this is this is a fairly i mean it's not a abc clearance but it's and I only say that because there's a lot of traffic on the table. Yeah, I think as soon as he gets past his next two balls, it's going to be, he could literally have the white to the middle of the table for the last three balls yeah, and yeah. even the black and he'd still yeah. be on every shot. But it's just getting around these red balls down the bottom. Yeah. He'd love the white ball back where he is off this, off this yellow he's going to play. Or it, he's going to go for the one in the middle and come back to where he is. Yeah. Then come round off two. Or is he come back enough? Oh. Is he looking at leaving this your last? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I think he'd like to pop the one into the bottom right and come round off two in, in the line of the one to the top right. Mm, he's showing you with his hand there. So, yeah. I, he's definitely just half a roll, maybe a roll short of pace. He definitely wanted to, yeah, so to play this one next. A lot of right hand side. Come back round to similar to where the. Oh, He's gone into the middle of the three of them. A little bit. I mean, it's hamper queuing for the one in the on the bulk line, but yeah, I think I would have tried to get on the, the one that he's closest to. I think I would have tried to get on that one. I think he just sort of tried to land in the middle of the three of them. Yeah. So he had the option to exactly, go anyway. Yeah. yeah, and it, and it's sort of betwixt and between them all yeah. now, isn't it? He's all right though. Yeah. He doesn't want to play the one to the top because he's slightly hampered. Uh, so now we can just. Uh, Probably want to leave himself slightly higher on that one to the top left, so he can just bounce back off the top rail and back in line with the black. Yeah. So he's on the black as soon as it leaves the bottom rail. Again, being super critical, maybe would want to be just a, a, an inch to the right of where he is, yeah, just possibly, slightly yeah. the wrong angle, but yeah. should like still be, be fine. On it, definitely. Yeah. Whether he can, uh, he might be having to screw back here. Maybe. So if you play it with right hand side off the bottom cushion, or if he's too straight for that. I know, I know that's what he'd like to he do. He might just screw back to bulk line yeah. and play it long. Yeah, it's not much angle on it, is there? Yeah, that's it. You take that all day long. Really. It's a big shot for him. Yeah, no, great yeah, shot. Absolutely nailed it. That's a Such really, a really top clearance. Look at that. He wouldn't, he wouldn't have been happy leaving himself that black off that finish. No, I know, but but even so, it just just trusting years of experience and and, and muscle memory, knowing that it was um, a pot that he always should be making. Yeah. Uh, that really was a classy clearance there. Um, it's just that that. The fact that that pot is, if you miss, you're out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it yeah. just adds a little. But Mick's been in that situation so many times, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, absolutely. And Sean, what he would have given for a, for a break on that ball. Uh, <laughs> a ball on that break, sorry. <laughs> 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 yeah, what he would have given there just for anything, just to give himself a chance. It's so horrible when you're, you're that close, you're in touching distance, and, and the balls just don't come out for you. It's Mick's break this time, yeah? It is. Yeah, it's so do you think yeah. he'll change it or will he go again? No, I don't. No, not okay. for a second. Right. Certainly not the cut break. <laughs> He's not yeah. an exponent oh, of the cut, cut break yeah. at all. There's not many fans of the cut break in no, there. I, I, uh, I, 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 just, I don't think he will. Not in such a crucial frame. I don't think this is a point that you should be changing at either. I've uh, threatened to ban people from the club for cut breaking. <laughs> <laughs> Luke Gilbert's one of them. <laughs> so here we go. Big moment. He's stayed at the same place. He sees it well. Yellow straight in the middle. I think that's <laughs> what he's been, what he what he's working on off that break. Yeah, that yellow to go in the middle. The leg kick. He was just hoping that the the white ball didn't. Oh, I just yeah, there's a few little kicks there. Yeah, but he, it was yeah. it was it was the pinball the yeah. pinball for a second, and it can get kicked in. Yeah. Oh, we're on 15 seconds yeah. now as well. Yeah, for those eagle-eyed amongst this you, you would have heard the 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 klaxon for the 15 seconds. So now. The clock suddenly plays a part as well. Yeah. Well, we're definitely going to get done in time anyway. Yes, yeah, for sure. Which is a, which is good going for, how many frames is that? Fifteen frames. 
Yeah, 13 so far. This is 14th. Yeah, so it goes 7 all. That's 15. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's good going. It's going to 7 all, isn't it? It is. You, can, <laughs> you just want your prediction to be right, didn't you? <laughs> I just... I, I don't want to curse Mick Hill. No. I don't want to put the commentator's curse on him, but I just think I think he gets these. Yeah, I do. I really do. That that red goes to two pockets, which he can get on quite easily. Three of one, he could leave it till last if he wants to. Let's come the short side for this ball. Just a, I think the red of the three that's highest, does it pass the black into the bottom right? Yeah, I think so. Because if it does, he can get onto the one next to the yellow. Oh, no, no, yeah. You, you can just, just, just see him just impart a tiny touch of left-hand side, which just helps the cue ball come down the table slightly. Yeah, he'll just, he'll just top the cushion side. here yeah. next, next to the yellow. That's it. Then he can just roll it in. Oh, this is it. 7 all. Just jinxed him. Lovely stuff. Oh, he can screw. He will screw back off the yellow with a bit of side. I think. I think he can get enough of the yellow to. Yeah. Just help him get. What he was given for another roll. Yeah, just help him get onto the black off the yellow. Yeah, there it goes. We I mean, just see that that extra side when you're flicking off a ball, it just kicks it. Yeah. When you screw it, really roll it. And screw in it. He's got it. Sevens. Good game. Lovely, lovely stuff from Excellent. McHill. Seven frames each. Do you want a break? The players shake hands and we will go to a decider. No shootout. No six red shootout, I think, is there? Indeed, no. Wow. What a great game this has been. And, um, well, <laughs> go on, John. What's your call? What's your prediction? Who wins oh. from here? Oh. I'm going to say there's one more twist in the tail and Mick wins it. I wanted to say Mick. <laughs> <laughs> well, I asked you... Well, I suppose you, we haven't got, I, I, have we? You I, haven't got to be different, have we? We haven't got to be different, no. Uh, well, I asked you the question, so, so you have... Oh, Mick. it's so there difficult because Sean's <laughs> break. He broke dry last time. Oh. I think he makes a ball, but I just think there's a twist in the tail somewhere. I just... I think Mick maybe deserves to win a little bit more. Yeah, I just think Mick has maybe just played slightly better, but nothing. There's nothing in it, is there? Who's going to want it more? Well, Mick will want it more. I think. Yeah, I think he really will. But um, he's he could just be sit. He could sit there. The next thing he could be doing is shaking Sean's hands. But the thing is, he's a man who's won play. six world titles. Is he feeling well, the nerves? The dominators there. Is he feeling the nerves if he comes to the table, yeah, do you think? I think he's got to be, any. Yeah. I think he's got to be. Wouldn't be human if he didn't feel a bit yeah. of nerves, would you? Because it, that, the nerves that the, he's feeling are what is inside him. and they, He's making them, yeah. that pressure, that nerve, yeah. because he wants to win. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes they help us oh, focus the, the mind, don't they? Oh, oh the yellow hit the knuckle and ran up the rail. So, well, so Sean's got, Sean, that yellow, if you watch the yellow going towards the middle, that's the yellow they've been pointing off the break. And it's hit the it's knuckle, hit the knuckle. Right at the rail, yeah. And that's the ball that's gone oh, in. Oh, that's the ball that's gone in, yeah. And but look at the look on Mick's face. So I've, I've believed that when Mick's breaking, that's the yellow he's trying to pot off the break. And Sean's been doing the same. And uh, I mean, oh god, <laughs> you could make a case for either, couldn't you? Yeah. I mean, he I, could get the yellow in the way of the red here if you're not careful. Oh, that's a clever shot. That oh, really he is. He took a risk there, though. He did, but that's that a so very clever shot. I didn't know if he could just dink that in and just not move the the uh, yellow very far, but well, it's on him now. It's on Sean. A little bit in between. I find myself holding my breath. I don't know yeah, what Sean feels yeah. like. <laughs> Oh, Mick will be absolutely distraught. He would have yeah. just wanted at some point just just get his hand on the table. Yeah, that's all, that's all you want is, is a there chance, that, isn't it? Is there that twist in the tail I mentioned? I, I can't see it now. It's I hard to see. I think he would see. just have wanted Sean to have to do a bit more work yeah, for the exactly. parents. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Because then Make you can it. say, yeah, fair enough, you've, yeah. you've played, you've done, you know, you've just, pulled up. Just, with even just to have to get a ball out would yeah, have... Yeah, exactly, yeah. He would have been happy with. I mean, they say that the choice Sean took to play was he took the choice to move that ball. We didn't need to necessarily. Well, now he's just look. 
What can you say? An absolutely fantastic game of pool, and uh, it's rounded off a great day on Free Sports of the Ultimate Pool. It's Sean Chipperfield who's the victor. We will hear from him. You can only say commiserations to Mick Hill. That really was great. Thanks so much, John Rowe, for joining me on commentary, and uh, we'll hear from Sean Chipperfield right after this break.